Used to have this GPU for around 2 years. All I have to say is save some money and get something better like a RX 460 for example. The GT 730 is just not working. Alright, I know guys, this GPU gets a lot of hate, but does it really deserve it? Well, here are my reasons why it doesn't. So before I begin stating my reasons why, I just want to say that the GT 730 I'm using is the highest end one. Basically, it has GDDR5 memory, 384 CUDA cores, clocked at 902 MHz. Number 1. Low TDP Alright guys, so if you don't know what TDP means, TDP basically means total draw power, which is the amount of watts that your card will draw under load. And for this card, it's a measly 25 watts, basically nothing. What this means is that it can fit in any PCIe slot without worrying about decking power, including power supplies with 200 watts and 250 watts like mine. Even though uh, the Nvidia website says that minimum uh, recommended supply power is 300 watts, but this is completely inaccurate. I have tried it on my on my system and it works completely fine. Number two, dimensions. So basically, this card has a height of 6.9 cm and a length of 14.4 cm and it only takes up a single slot in the width. So what this basically means is that it can fit in virtually any machine. How small or how big this card is meant to fit in there. Even though you can say that a 750Ti has low profile versions of it, but the problem is that they are double width, I mean dual width. So it will not fit in most systems like mine. Number 3. This card is meant for old computers not new ones. Basically what I mean is that all the, with all the characteristics it has, it can fit into basically any machine with any power supply because of its low TDP and small dimensions. So this card is definitely meant for the older computers, especially with very lousy integrated graphics like mine. Even though integrated graphics right now is really great, but the one that came with mine is horrible and this GT730 really helps improve its performance. So before I start this performance test, I just want to say that I'm recording my phone so that I won't deplete the performance because I do not have a capture card yet so I cannot capture the screen. And the second thing is that I'll be running all tests in 1440x900p. So I have a 900p monitor by 16x10 by ratio, I don't have a 1080p monitor, I'm not rich for that. Anyways, uh, let's get right into the first game. So the first game I'm going to be talking about is Paladins. It's an Overwatch-ish game but it's free to play so it's not doesn't cost money like Overwatch. Anyways, the settings I use is consists of medium to high settings. You can see for yourself over there. And when I'm in the base, I get around 75 FPS. And when I'm outside fighting, I get a stable 50 to 60 FPS. So this game is definitely playable on this card. So the second game I'm going to be talking about is Rocket League. This game is basically a game where you drive a car around and you knock a ball into the goal. But anyways, the settings I'm using is all high, except with anti-aliasing turned off, but everything else turned on, like Bloom and all those effects all turned on. And I get a stable 40 to 50, F high 40 to low 50 FPS, which is totally playable on a game like this. And the last game I'm going to be testing is GTA 5. This game is a highly intensive game, okay, not as intensive as other games, but this game is still quite intensive, especially for this card. Anyways, I'm running on all the lowest settings, and if you realize that in the video clip there are some stutters here and there, that's not because of the GPU, that's because of the CPU. I have an old duo core, and that old with me, I have to lock it down to 37 FPS as you can see in the counter over there. But the game is still playable, just you have to deal with some stutters here and there. But I'm just trying to say that this game is running slow not because of the GPU, it's because of the CPU. In conclusion, does this card really deserve all the hate it has? Well, no. The problem with people these days is that everyone looks at price to performance ratio. So they feel that the TCX 750 Ti or the, even the 1050 is far better, which I agree. But the thing is, this card is not meant to be compared with them. This card is a small and lightweight card meant to fit in all computers, especially old ones, to improve their graphics performance so that they can play newer titles without having to upgrade their whole PC or something like that. That's what this, that is what this card is meant for. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, like it if you feel that I'm, you know, making sense. Dislike it if you feel that I'm re being contradictory. Comment what you want next or, or your feelings on this. Subscribe for more content like this and support me and I'll see you next time. Bye.